by you when you're falling When the river is calling Said I love you forever We so are going to dance in with some else Okay, you're just going to have to carry on No, no, you can't, you can't, you better redo that <laughs> Look, no, no, you can't, you've got to start again I'm sorry <laughs> Are you ready now? Okay. Yeah, ready. ready. Good morning. Today, I'm in one of my favorite rooms of the house, the kitchen. Ollie and I are kind of dividing and conquering today um, because he's working on our project room. But we've actually decided to do a little bit of a, it's something that we've been wanting to do for a while, but a once over of some of the rooms that we've already done. For example, the kitchen, which is what I'm going to be working on. And the room all's in at the moment, which some of you know because I put out a very, well, I basically told you on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, then I will leave my handle here. And the room just isn't big enough for us both to be there today because he's actually working on the flooring. So I've come down to start a little project on the kitchen. So this room is a room that we pretty much just moved into. I love it. The kitchen worked so well. But we just dumped it. I didn't even think about what cupboards and like what was going to go where. So let me flip you around and show you what we still need to do. Can you hear Ollie? He's, a, cause he's like, he's literally up here. Could be a little bit of that going on today. Also, I'm afraid I haven't cleared up this this morning. So this is just very real. We never got around to doing this window. So we actually have a piece of wood from the dining room, which was over the fireplace, which I think will fit perfectly. Now that we have our planer, I'm gonna plane the piece of wood and get it to fit in here. If it's a nice wood, because it's painted, I don't know what it is. I'll stain it the same color as the bottom of our drawers. If not, I'll do the top drawer to color. And I think that could be nice because it will keep it quite light and bright over there. Now over here is a very big hint as to another project which I'm going to be doing. The one area that I did not have any space for was spices. So they have literally been living in this box. I have to keep putting them away and then getting them out. So I bought this one on Amazon the other day. I'm actually going to put it up here because I think it's a nice little hidden space. I really like kitchens to be left quite clean and minimal. So as you walk in, you won't be able to see that will be further back you won't be able to see any of that then the shelves which we never got around to doing I'm going to pop two shelves in here so that we can start storing some of the nicer bits that we have like bowls and ornaments and then I need to go through <laughs> these you may have noticed and that's what a lot of these boxes are for in here we bought a load of these containers I measured them for our room or the larder basically and these are the ones which fitted best so tall I can get two in each side, and I think actually like eight lengthwise, but actually it would be four lengthwise, eight all together. So I actually need to clean these ones here. And we also got some of these really nice containers to be able to put the spices in. And we have a label maker. So hopefully by the end of this, we're gonna be really organized. I'd love to also put a blind up on this kitchen, style some of the shelves, just get it like a really lovely, it's, it's quite a dark room, though this area is really light from our garden because it's in the middle of the house and we have the wall here. It's nice to just keep all of the shelves nicely organized and with bits that also make it cozy. It just, it feels like a really nice cozy kitchen. So I wanna keep that vibe to it too. Spice rack unit is on. I really like it actually because it matches nicely with kind of the other decor that we have in the house. And it does, it's pretty hidden. You can, can't see it at all when you initially walk into the room. But it's actually a really good size. I'm hoping to also put like our OXO cubes on here and some other bits. It is, I don't know if I'd, I mean, I recommend it style wise and maybe if we had a bit more time, we'd have sent it back. But the shelves are actually straight, but I don't know if you can see, but this bit just looks like it's on a slight bit of a wonk. I think it's slightly bent to the actual thing because it's obviously metal. But we're going to live with it because it's just not an issue at the moment. And these are the spice containers that I got to put all of our spices into. We didn't get enough for all of our spices simply because these were way more expensive than I was thinking. So I'm going to decant some of the spices. I think I'm going to start with these because they're all a little bit mixed and keep these as they are because they're all in the same container. So that should hopefully look quite neat on there. Down. 
There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me higher Than a touch of your sweet desire I've decanted the majority of our spices now. I have left some of them below there so that I know what to label them with. I mean, I do know what cinnamon smells like, but some of these others, I'm not so sure of my ability. So I'm gonna leave them there until the label maker arrives. And I must admit, now that I have them on there, I love them and I'd like to order more. But I think for about 10 of these, it was 20 pounds. But obviously I'll use them for life. From now on, I won't be buying these. I'll go to a store where I can get spices by weight and just put them straight into these containers. And for now, I'm just gonna have to find some kind of way of making some of these other lips look kind of pretty on there. But now I think that's as good as that is gonna get. I think I might be ordering some more of these containers tonight though, because I think another 10 would actually just about be perfect. There's a few more things that I would like to get on there, perhaps some coconut and bits, just because it takes it out of these drawers. Also, yes, that's all of the washing that I've got to do this week. Well, I don't know, Ollie and I have to do this week. So this needs some mega sorting. We've got two of these pull out drawers. They are amazing. They hold so much stuff, but I also find that a lot gets lost in them. So we've actually been able to clear out quite a bit of space by doing that spice rack because we had a few in here. But I think first things first, I'm pretty much basically gonna take everything out, pop it over on the side here, and then decant things like pasta and other bits into these ones. Said I love you forever. We can make it together. Anybody else live with a man who does this? Empty. Just an empty box. Yeah. I just spent a good 20 minutes trying to work out what heights to have these in. I think I've got this one quite sorted. Sing a sad song. Seems like nothing comes for free. And it won't take a lot Your fragile soul will soon be strong I'll carry you so tenderly Sorry Grants if I culled a lot of things that weren't weeds but I think that looks a lot neater I'm gonna do this little section here now and then I think this definitely needs some attention and around to the side here Good morning. I am ticking off so many jobs that I've wanted to do for ages. This isn't a job that I've had for a long time, but these have to be moved today. They've been in the hallway for far too long, but we're struggling for space with the upstairs project. So I'm gonna try and make some room up there. And then my next job is gonna be out here. This alleyway, so I need to give it pretty much just a really good sweep. You can see that we've still got all of the sawdust from when we were planing the wood. I'd love to be able to get this box off, um, maybe even put this hanger out so that we can hang some washing. We've been doing loads of gardening, but I don't want to do too much because at the moment our garden waste isn't going and the tip isn't open. So don't want to be building it up, but I'm going to try and neaten what I can. I then need to get, so I'll show you them later, but we've got some gorgeous camellias to go in the front garden. I need to plant those and I also need to plant some of these other bits. I got that rose for my birthday. I need to think of a bit of a plan of action for neatening this for this spring summer. Quite the pile of leaves which I wasn't expecting. Still need to do that and I mean it just looks a bit of a mess out here but it is much neater than it was. I've just come to look at taking this out and Ollie's put all of these in here. I have no idea why he thought they'd go in here but these need to be dried probably down the end of the garden. Well I think that looks loads better <laughs> even though it looks a bit of a mess and you take these camellias to the front now. Serves me right. 
for sitting in the garden. The lighting is being really awkward, so I'm kind of hiding in this corner because the sun is streaming through. It is so nice to have some sunshine. Sorry about the weird intro this morning and then just really cutting off that my camera battery died. And I was going to go through my pamper a bit more with you, but I just had to get on and get it done because I knew that the postman was coming at half nine this morning and I really didn't want to be answering the door, you know fake tan on, conditioner in my hair, unshowered. So I just got on and showered, I'll go through it another day. And I'm sure a few of you may be noticing that I am in our back room and that I was also in the bathroom. I'm gonna go through that a little bit later on in our Q and A, because I have had a few curious people wondering where we are showering at the moment. Today, I really need to get on and get organized with ordering some things for our projects. I thought at the beginning of the week and when I did my Instagram, I was like, great, we're gonna get loads done. We're gonna get so much achieved and we're gonna do loads of videos with loads of different renovations. And now I'm a bit like, oh, we have to be super organized to do all of this. And it's definitely taking a little bit longer. Like for example, we usually just pop out quite often if we're needing a part for the renovation. We don't have everything in because partly we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're gonna come up against. And then when we figure things out, we just pop out <laughs> and buy what we need, which we obviously can't do at the moment. So we're ordering a lot more online and at times because of things online are a little bit uncertain at the moment. So I'm really hoping that we can get cracking with the products, but that means that today I need to step away from the projects and actually really think about them and what we may need to get them finished and finalized off. Which to be honest is what I spend a lot of my time doing anyway. So right now I'm just on some of my websites looking at the more fun things because I thought I'd start with that. So the accessories that I might need for the rooms. And then I need to think about other things. I also need to um, just like keep in touch with all of our workmen for the top floor. And I'm really uncertain as to how that's going to progress at the moment. Because obviously we won't be having anybody come in. Um... Yes, I'm not quite sure how long that's going to be paused for, so I'm so glad that we're doing some projects in between that. It's been wonderful that the sun's been shining, we've been out in the garden loads, and that's made a real difference to our garden because not being gardeners, it's got very messy very quickly. Not really maintenance of the garden, but more so that we just dump things everywhere, like you would have seen yesterday with the alleyway. So I'm going to get cracking and get ordering some things. Hi guys! got some questions to answer we're just going to go through them very quickly uh, because we have dinner in the oven and I, i'm feeling like a few of them just from seeing now are going to be a little bit repetitive so we'll just answer like the first one that we come across and go from there <laughs> the first one you're gonna love this this is genuinely the first one are you engaged when's the wedding 10 children questions <laughs> 10 children let me see that <laughs> Um, no, we're not engaged, not planning a wedding, um, we will get married. At some point. At some point. Off um, the house. Probably have ten children at some point. Um, no, but I would like kids though, and a few, a few, three, hopefully, maybe. This has been very good. And keep it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you had a lodger yet in your back bedroom? I get asked about the back bedroom, lodging it, renting it all the time. Mm. Do we? Not right now. Not right now. We did, yes. I think actually when that video went up... We already had someone. We already had somebody in and they were in the room for six months. It was let, let for six months and it was the best decision... Yeah, pretty good. ...we made. Um, so easy i was very worried about it initially and i think so many people did say oh aren't you really nervous about having somebody come into your home but it was it's the space works quite well for it because it's off to the to like the back of the house um it's but very private it's very private for them but also i think we're still relatively young so i guess there's a fair few people that our, our age range still may be in shared housing and stuff so lots of my friends share especially in london especially in london yeah so it was quite normal it was quite easy mm -hmm. um yeah. yeah it was super easy we we're, we will be doing it again definitely but um obviously with the current situation that six months actually ended just as all of this was starting and we did list the room again and <laughs> got somebody who was just absolutely ideal and then their circumstances changed so we decided to leave it now 
can tell by the notice that we'd recommend, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, super easy. Unless we were lucky, we might have been very lucky. After all of the house bits you've done, would you recommend doing rooms one at a time or all at once? Is the front room, and then the bedroom, and then the kitchen. Also, that's the other matter. Thank you. So this, I think it would very much depend on personal circumstances. If we had the money to get somebody else to do it. Yeah, and I'd say like not crazy amount of money, just like some money. Yeah. Because we have no money going into, well, kind of no money going into this place. So no. it very much had to be done ourselves. Yeah. Hence, one room at a time. But yeah, if you had, it would have made life a lot quicker and easier if we could have just said to like a plaster and some builders like, rip all the walls down, replaster everything, at least even on like one floor. Yeah. And then taking it from there. Yeah. But having said that, would we do it? I don't think we'd ever do I it. I don't know. You'd have to have, a, I think you'd have to have quite a sizable budget to do that. Like almost like the entire house being done at once. And I, I, uh, I think this also depends on where you prioritise your money because Ollie and I very much see the house as an investment and part of like the idea of getting a lodger in is that we won't fully be paying for the house cost so hopefully one day when we do go to sell the house we're not struck by this like oh well, you bought it at this and you spent this much to do it up we'll be like well actually we didn't spend a huge amount to yeah. do it up like that for us hasn't been a big investment in our life so hopefully at some point <laughs> it'll be I guess also we're quite careful any time we come to make a decision on the house there's the thing we want and there's the thing that we end up doing and that's yeah. normally kind of a little bit scaled back you've got to think on, like, like what makes sense yeah with your head a bit more than your heart and that's what we're, we're trying to do with the whole of our life as a, a whole i think isn't it i guess that's just making sensible decisions though <laughs> like, <you> want... <laughs> we don't make sensible <laughs> decisions definitely not all the time but uh, yeah it, it, it depends, it also depends on your circumstances. I say, if we had kids, I don't think we'd be able to do this. No, that'd be a um, lot We've been very lucky, especially with my job now, that I have a lot more time to be able to look after the house and, you know, afford to think, uh, do a lot of research. Whereas if I was working a full-time job in an office, I wouldn't be able to do this. So, hard one. What did you do before you became an influencer? I always find this really interesting, so I guess this one only really applies to me because... I ain't an influencer. <laughs> um, what did I do? Uh, a number of things. So I studied textile design. I actually have a video, which I will link below, which will go into it in a little bit more detail, um, which is just a little bit more about, I guess, my past career before it, but to cut it short, um, I was in product development. But I was very creative, so actually this kind of has all linked in together. Why do you both think it works between you? Ying and Yang. Are we different though? I don't think so we are. Different. Oh, you so think that? I'm not sure we are. Um, we are on some things. Yeah, we, we have very similar morals. Like our, our like baseline morals and thoughts are all. Style choices, house choices. We both if we, before we started talking about houses together, we kind of both said like, what would your dream house be? And it yeah. was like a Victorian terrace. Something but that might have changed now. Yeah. But, um, but we always think the same along the same lines on the big things in life. Yeah. And I think in the little things, we're very different. Like you're very, you're a morning person, I'm an evening person. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're like very, um, kind of like, planned and organised, whereas I'm much more carefree and just play it by ear. Mm -hmm. But I think those two things, I don't know. They work well they together. They work well together for most yeah. of And I think like, it's very hard to say like, but I'm very positive, but I'm very positive and kind of can do. And you're not negative, but you think about things. Like I'm, I'm a little bit like head in the clouds. I bring it back down to a little bit more yeah. of a realistic place. Yes, but then I can it like equally kind of like turn around the other way so yeah I don't know we balance each other very well yeah we do balance each other quite well how do you how do you maintain a strong marriage with the successful job of remodeling a house maybe it's because we're not married <laughs> I think that kind of falls more into like just knowing knowing when to be together and knowing when to be apart mm, and knowing each other's limits 
yeah it's very important like if i say to ollie i i can't keep going any longer you're fine with that you can stop and the same like we were happy to get on with the house in separate parts i think ourselves i think it helps that we both kind of like lift our own weight with the house it's not one of us physically doing the work and one of us not we're both kind you of definitely do a lot a lot more planning organization picking buying for the house than i do mm. but i guess that i do more it's crappy 30 jobs yeah but we do spend some time doing stuff together as well which i think is important because i think if i if i think if i felt i was doing all of like the mucky work and you were just doing the organizing solely i think i'd find that really difficult but it's very lonely as well it can be quite lonely i think we turn a lot of the house into like fun in a way and we enjoy it like yeah. we do and, and we don't like it's definitely not just a case of like just doing it for the videos like we we turn the music on and, and we dance anyway because it makes it enjoyable and if it was just a hard slog then i don't think no we'd enjoy it but paint stripping is fun <laughs> heard it from him <laughs> how many rooms does the house have because it seems huge on videos um, like room rooms or bedrooms? Ooh, yeah. Uh, bedrooms, it's five. Slash six, given the current situation. Yeah. Should be five. Mm. But one's being used as a bedroom, even though it shouldn't be in the future. Yeah. We have a lot more space than we need, but with having the lodger in and with having a lot of the house not yet renovated, we're not actually living in a huge amount of the house now. Eleven. 11 actual actual rooms not counting the toilet <laughs> yeah. that's like toilet like bathroom like 11 rooms yeah. but yeah it's way too much space but that's why we plan to be here for a long time and grow into it <laughs> back to that one where are you currently sleeping or showering we kind of answered this one so we are showering in the room that was rented at the moment because I'm presuming this might be partly because we are, you know, that we're redoing our bathroom because I said on Instagram. Do they? I thought you hinted at it. No, I just, I just oh, gave it away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And now I've given it away on here as well, <laughs> so you all know. I don't think this is the time for leaving hints and stuff though. You might as well all know. Um, yeah, so we're showering and um, using the downstairs bathroom. Previously, we were using the main bathroom that was in the house that we we renovated it, I think, in one weekend. We basically just gave it one, a paint. It was like a one of the very first yeah. job, very first taste of everything to do with the house. And yeah. we threw ourselves into a little bit of plumbing, a little bit of tiling, and some painting. Yeah, I did some very bad tiling. We, I mean, that, that bathroom to what we're putting in now is kind of like the story of how much we've grown. Yeah, I guess from like over a year because yeah. before it was very limited, and now we've kind of learned a lot, got the whole thing. Mm. And sleeping, our room is just perfect, isn't it? Beautiful room, it's pink and stripy, and <laughs> yeah. If you go back to the house tour, it's the one with the pink stripy wallpaper. It's got like a bow design going around the rim of the ceiling, pink carpet, and we we clean the carpet deep clean the whole like room and walls and regrettably didn't paint it white so we've been living in it as is and like it hasn't changed as far as decor at all yeah it's lovely <laughs> i don't mind it actually you know what i've it's grown not, it's not that bad yeah. just, it's some of the tidiest wallpaper that we had yeah there was no um i guess we should mention as well there was no nicotine in the well, but i guess some of it would have gone up but that was a child's room so and it hadn't been used in years. So yeah, it was it was very clean in comparison to some of the rest of the house. Lots wondering if we're married. Are we married? If so, how long? No, but we, ha we have been together. Yeah, get the hints. <laughs> We've been together six years, uh, a few months? Six years and a few months, something like that. We want to know your work from home tips and tricks. Well, um, I don't know if you don't. At the moment, I'd say that just like don't beat yourself up. Um, set a routine that works for you. If you're having a down day, let yourself be down. If you want to wear your pajamas, wear your pajamas. Personally, I can be quite productive working from bed in my pajamas. So, in a way, don't set any rules. 
but definitely getting up, getting showered, making sure that you have a to-do list is really good. I think the night before, it's really good to think about at least what you're gonna do the next day so that you wake up and have something because it's so easy to wake up and then the day just goes very quickly and you don't end up achieving a lot. But at the moment, I, I wouldn't worry. Just try and enjoy being home a little bit. Any tips for you? You weirdly really are going against everything you said, more or less. Yeah. Um, make sure you get up in the morning, shower, put like, almost kind of put on like what you would consider work clothes and have like a work area at home which is just for work so that when you're in that area mm. it is like work. Obviously have your, I'm assuming, computer set up yeah. and at the end of the day shut it down, like close it away, put it away. You don't want your work invading your living space or like heaven forbid like if you're having to work in your bedroom you don't want to like then start associating your bedroom with work because that's bad this is where we're so different. we're so different you used to be able to do work at uni on the sofa though like yeah. with the tv on and, and I, I was like no yeah. i can't do this it's, it's one of our one struggles because i'm i can be productive kind of at any point of the day and if ollie has a distraction i need it quiet no chance calm. <laughs> Did you have to share your kitchen with a lodger? Yes, we did. However, the the, the one that we had Absolutely in for six fine. months um, was fine and like didn't really use the kitchen. So their work their work meant that they didn't need to use the kitchen that often. They eat at work. So, but also I think it helps if it's just kept clean. I yeah. lodged for a little while when at my previous work, yeah. and that really helped. That if the kitchen was spotlessly clean everybody keeps it clean whereas if like builds up one of my uni houses like if you get some dirty dishes building up it will get dirty so mm -hmm. i think as adults it's quite a lot easier just to keep it fully clean yeah ollie's really good at keeping the dishes <laughs> clean <laughs> <laughs> oh let's go and turn that off that's dinner we'll be back I love following your renovations, thank you. Uh, do you see this as your forever home? This is a difficult one actually, and I've discussed this with a few people on my DMs. As far as, in different countries especially, people call it their forever home and they literally like stay there forever um, from their young, you know. Probably for it. Yeah. I think when we got it, we thought it would be our forever home. And it, if we wanted it, it could be we have enough space that mm. we would never need to leave no um but we've never owned a home before well i think there's also something in um, i think it, partly a lot of people are like it in the uk where you live somewhere and then all of a sudden like and we really have enjoyed doing the renovation product project and then yeah. you know you kind of not that we have it cheap right now but we can see ourselves wanting to do something else, um, whether that is like a big renovation again or just something else. It's not so much the house because we love, I love all of the features and the windows and the location for us is amazing. So yeah, I think it's it's more just the scariness of it kind of being forever. Change, I, I love change, it's easy. I yeah. move house all of the time. Um, you don't mind change too much either, do you? No, I quite like that. You said you used to rearrange your uni room. And yeah. I used to, when I was a kid, I quite enjoyed moving my room around, like changing where my bed was. So yeah. I think... And well, I moved a lot as a kid, so I think I have yeah. that ingrained in me a little bit. Whereas I didn't move as a kid. We stayed places for a long time, mm. but I liked changing. So I think once we're finished renovating, we'll probably... Think about it. No, I, don't, I think five, ten years in here, maybe. Yeah. We always thought five, ten years, definitely, but it might be, yeah. Never say never. <laughs> I miss your horse. Are you coming back or do you spend all your money in B&Q right now? Well, I do pretty much spend all my money in B&Q right now, but I um, miss my horse as well. Unfortunately, I was really hoping... The main reason why I don't feel into it at the moment is because I don't have a room, uh, even really like a bedroom or an office room. The room that you guys have seen, which I currently have my wardrobe in, it's just a dumping ground. It currently has a toilet in it for reference. 
Um, it's got a tumble dryer in it. That I can't even. Water. Yeah, back of the, yeah, that's where the leak was. I can't even get to the desk. Like it's impossible. Nor my clothes really. Like I don't go in there for my clothes. You might see that I wear a lot of the same thing at the moment because I'm just yeah not really changing it up. So I was hoping that we'd be upstairs quite quickly, but that's a long time. I don't know um, when we're gonna be able to start that again. Hopefully soon. Yeah. But once you are upstairs, you're planning to get back to fashion content. It just died because we've been talking for too long, so I'm gonna get going again. Um, who was the person on YouTube that you watched for all your painting tips? I'll leave that below. Uh, when it comes to DIY tools, did you start by renting or just buy straight away? Buy the things that you know you're gonna use again and again. Drill, impact driver. Yeah. I would say maybe like an electric saw, like a circular saw or something, because you use that a lot. And then everything else, rent or buy really cheaply. There's some like really cheap brands from like Aldi and Lidl. Um, but they're pretty good. But they're pretty good. And if you're only using them a few times, um, it can be cheaper than um, renting something. And if you finish reusing it, you can always sell it again afterwards. Mm, I think as well, it, it slightly depends on price point. So things like a floor sander, you're only going to use once and it's really expensive. You're not going to buy it. No. But we then got the planer, which is relatively cheap for what it is, but then it does the job of a floor sander. Yeah, and we're probably, with the planer, we're going to use it throughout the whole of the house, so we thought we'd invest and get one. How did you guys meet? You are such a cute couple. Thanks. Um, oh, should go back down memory lane with this one. I just said that I was going to be quick and now I've read that and I'm like, oh. I spent an hour waxing lyrically about our yeah. meeting story. See, I think our meeting was fate. Ollie doesn't believe in fate. But we were both at Loughborough Uni and I actually saw Ollie before I knew him or we were friends or anything on a boat party. We've actually got pictures. I'm going to insert it in the pictures there. I'm going to go all out. <laughs> um, yeah, we both got pictures from that night and I turned to a friend when I saw him. He was on the dance floor dancing and cutting long story short, it was a terrible boat party. Nobody was having a good time, but he was up there dancing. He was wearing um, a blue jacket, which I thought was really different. And I turned to a friend and I was like, oh, he's really cute. And she was like, yeah, I know, he's got a girlfriend. And I was like, oh, okay. So just left it there. And I don't know, what year was that? That would have been year three. Oh, so it was kind of near it's Kind of near the end. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it probably wasn't that long after we like actually did meet then. So 2013, yeah, 2013, because then we got together in 2014. Yeah, and then um, it came to the time where everybody was moving into houses. I moved into an all girls house. Ollie was in an all boys house, and it just so happened that somebody who one of the girls that I moved into a house with knew Ollie's group. So like, as two groups, uh, one of boys and one of girls, we thought it'd be really good to like. We had, some, we had some parties. We had some parties. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's when I first met Ollie, and then I had a boyfriend. So, yeah, it was just one of those situations. Um, but we, we kind of got to know each other as friends, would you say? Yeah, a bit. What did you think of this time? I just thought you were kind of like off limits. You had a boyfriend, you were nice, okay. but you're off limits. Ollie was so sweet that he actually, um, could, he'd met my ex and, and, and at one point he was like, I always laugh about this, he, he came up to me and he was like, your boyfriend's really nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're such a nice guy. Um, cut long story short, I then broke up with that boyfriend and we had one night where it was just um, three of us girls and three of the boys and we all had a bottle of wine, I think each. Yeah, probably. Boy, we were heading out, and we we kind of like stopped off at your house as like a pre drinks. We just yeah, it's like a pajama party. Sat on the sofa. Yeah, it was uh, a bit, but it was really nice because we were all just chatted. Once they left, I said to the girls, I was like, oh, I think Ollie is really sweet. He's a really nice guy, and they were like, yeah, he's such he'd be such a good boyfriend. And then and then I mean, you, come on, you got to I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why you're taking this. Cause well, I mean, what happened after that? Well, because that's what actually happened when we tell everybody. <laughs> You're missing out a lot of the story. <laughs> There's the part that, you know, then yeah. it goes over to you. 
Oh. Oh my gosh, she's, I've used her over um, too many stories. But anyway, <laughs> then one of the girls was like, basically set us up, went to the boys and was like, boys, one of the girls likes okay, right, you. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I wasn't And there was, there was someone else in the house that, um, one of our friends who had been after you okay. previously. Yeah. And um, so there was like a little bit of history there, which we knew of. So obviously when the friend said, oh, you're interested, we were all just like, oh, okay, we know who it is. And then she was like, no, it's me. Yeah, so apparently mm. Ollie stalked me on Facebook for, you know. No, I didn't. Yeah? No. Apparently he did. And then we <laughs> met up, and then there was like this, obviously, like there was this house party where we were put together. And, and again, Ollie's not telling you the story, so I'll just say, apparently he showered and changed his shirt like three times before coming over. Yeah. Yeah, and the bit that he didn't want to tell you is that he, he then stayed the night and I couldn't get rid of him. No, I was like a limpet for 72 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so, overstay my welcome. <laughs> the girls in the house were literally like, is he gonna stay for dinner? <laughs> and we have been together. Ever since. Ever since. Yeah, we don't leave each other's side pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you show the finished boiler room on YouTube? Maybe I missed it, but I'm very curious. Um, we'll put up a picture. Yeah. I'm not showing them. I think I did an, an end of one of the videos, but I'll re put it on. Um, okay, let's just use a few more now. How did you guys meet? It's the same. Um, are you planning on getting any dogs or pets? Dog. I want a cat as well, but Laura is not keen. Yeah. I'm like a very much a dog person through and through. I love dogs. And... I'm like, I'm not a cat person at all. Like definitely not a cat person. Mm. But I just feel like for a well-rounded house, you need a cat and a dog. Mm. I kind of feel like I'm still may maybe a little bit more so at the age where I'm like, God, and I feel it with this house. We've taken on a lot, number one, with the renovations, but also there's a lot of cleaning with the house and then like all of the maintenance of getting a dog and like getting more animals and I think about. We, yeah, we want a dog, but not yeah. right now. Yeah. We've got too much on. And also we get to look after Benson. Benson, I won't get a dog until, oh, my beloved Benson is going to make me cry just thinking about it. But he's 15 and he very much has been the only dog in the house and he gets totally pampered. He comes here for holidays and he does not like being around other dogs because he's got to the age where he's a little bit vulnerable. So I couldn't even think about getting another dog. Um, while he was around. No. He's such a sweetheart. He is, sweetie. But we'll leave it on that. It's literally getting dark <laughs> as it goes out and our dinner is probably going to be burnt to a crisp. But I hope that answered some of your questions. Sorry that we didn't cover them all, but this would be a super long video and probably a lot boring, like a lot more boring for you guys because I did, I did natter on a little bit about our um, meeting. <laughs> You saying bye? Or are you saying bye at some other point? I'll say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be in the rest of the day. <laughs>